to What's, What's Happening, Happening in the Motherload with Sarah and Sarah. <laughs> and uh, wow, there are a lot of things to do. There really are. Um, <laughs> this especially week. going into July. July and July 4th weekend. Uh, yep. And July 4th is a Monday mm -hmm. this, this year, so people have three-day weekends. Which is so nice. Like, yeah, they have a little time to rest and relax. And, and then you got a party on Monday. Yeah. <laughs> and go back to work <laughs> go on back Tuesday. Work Tuesday. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Um, so this time I thought that I would just share some weird facts that I found I on the internet. I bet you July found a 4th. few. There's a few. There's a few. <laughs> a few really really odd ones um one of the first ones actually was let me just um was that we celebrate july 4th mm -hmm. on july 4th but apparently the declaration of independence wasn't completed signing until august of 1776. interesting so why did they choose july 4th i'm not sure actually apparently um the first celebration uh, the next year was in Philadelphia on July 8th, mm -hmm. but I think July 4th was when maybe some of the original fathers signed the declaration. Oh, so I wasn't able problem. to actually figure that one out. It was kind of all over the place. Well, there has been some time. Yeah. <laughs> time <laughs> in between some time. That. And of course on the internet, it's like, well, it's this day mm -hmm. and it's that day. So, um, one of the things that I did find, it said that, let me see if I can find it. It was, um, they voted for independence on July 2nd. Okay. And John, because John Adams apparently thought that was the day that it should be celebrated, but it wasn't signed until the beginning of July 4th, right? Okay, when so that some makes of them sense. signed it, and then obviously they didn't all sign it at the same time, mm -hmm. so it, it finalized on August 2nd. Okay. <laughs> so there's all these like crazy dates out there. But July 4th became the official day, and in 1941, it wasn't a holiday until 1941, though, which is kind of crazy. That it is was crazy. Just, like celebrated on July 4th, and apparently John Adams was so so stalwart that it had to be July 2nd mm -hmm. that whenever he was invited to a July 4th celebration, he would not go. Oh no! <laughs> So, like, no, nope, two days like, early. Nope, two days early. We're not doing that. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's a little, it's a little crazy. Man. So, um, the oldest annual July Fourth celebration was held in 1785, though. So it was celebrated for way longer yeah. than it was a federal holiday. Mm -hmm. um, and that was, let's see, they were, yeah, okay. So that was. 1785 in uh, Bristol, Rhode Island. Okay. So it was in a small little town. And then um, fireworks apparently became part of the July 4th uh, celebration when Macy's in New York added fireworks to their 4th of July parade. Well, there you go. Macy's does. It's They do their thing. Yeah. They're a little bit ahead of the game. Yeah, they are. <laughs> they are. Um, and then Americans spend about one billion dollars on fireworks. I bet <laughs> each that year. is so much money. But think again, if you think about it, there's a lot of there's a lot of people. Um, mm -hmm. And if everyone's spending a hundred plus dollars, that adds up quick. That adds up quick, and that's even in the area. I mean, that's even taking into account places where they're banned. Mm -hmm. Like some areas of Calaveras, it's banned. Some areas of Tuolumne, some areas of Amador, and then there's little pockets where it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta find those just loopholes. Like, okay, okay. But one of the funky little rules is that if you buy your fireworks at a stand, mm -hmm. let's say in a parking lot, you cannot set the fireworks off in the same parking lot of the stand that you bought them. Why is that? Well, I think it's to make sure it doesn't go into the stand. Oh, okay, that makes stand. sense. Yes, yeah, because, yeah, that's a lot of firepower. That's, fire that's a lot of firepower. That, yeah, that would be a really big boom. Yeah, which makes sense now, thinking about it. You're like, you don't want any, like, yeah, don't yeah, a cigarette, go, don't. Yeah, no know. cigarettes, no, no nothing. So, um, and fireworks sent about 7,300 people to the ER around July 4th. I can believe yeah. that. I can believe that. I've been at a couple parties where you're like, 
none of this is safe. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, someone's, makes gonna, you wonder. someone's gonna light themselves on fire. Exactly. And the sparklers, right? They're mm -hmm. supposed to be safe. Yeah. And they're like, inevitably, you know, butter is the cure-all for everything. You know, mm -hmm. some little child burns themselves, go get the butter! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. When people are running for butter. It's like, oh, I don't know if that's safe or not. No. <laughs> and especially with how dry everything is. Oh, nowadays. Yeah. Nowadays, I mean, where we are, mm -hmm. you have to be so careful. Yep. Um, more pets run away on July 4th. Which makes sense because Absolutely. Uh, that loud noises, I mean, it happens once a year. They're not used to it. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden you're poor. Yeah, little dog little or dog cat is like, is like what's yeah, going on? what's happening? Um, and you can get really good tips on the Calaveras County Animal Services website mm -hmm. about how to help your pet, you Which know, in, in, in with uh, July 4th and, and that type of thing. And um, so let me just scroll down, see if I can find a, a few more. Little, <laughs> <laughs> um, a little. So, and then there's the annual uh, Nathan's Famous Hot Dog Eating Contest back east. Um, that's in Coney Island, New York. <sighs> 10 I, minutes to eat. How many? 75 hot oh, dogs I, that would the be, last. Oh, that would be so... <laughs> That would be miserable. Oh. Like, I don't know why people push the limit on oh, that. That man. would Oh, man. Awful. <laughs> oh, I can't even imagine. And then the practicing, yeah. the get to the out. Oh, yeah. No. The, and they practice. It's like, it's a sport. Yeah. It's a sport for oh. these people. Ugh. Nope. No, I'm good. <laughs> but you can watch it on ESPN if I don't you even, like. <laughs> I can't even watch it. Like, it's it grosses me out. Like, I don't know. Like, it's funny, but at the same time, time I'm like, just like, oh my, oh my God. God, that person's going to throw up. That so, person's going to throw up. Yeah, and the viewer rating <laughs> and if they throw like, up, I'm going to throw up. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. But it's like two million people watch this. Which makes and sense yeah. because yeah. it's entertainment. Yeah, but it's like, oh. oh. Anyway, um, so the, I think the first one of those was around 1972. So that's been going on for a that really long time. On for a bit. And Americans spend seven billion dollars on food for the fourth of july <laughs> billion <laughs> which is which makes sense if you're yeah. doing a potluck yeah everyone's you're bringing a party a you're doing mm -hmm. a get together and it's usually um, the weekend yeah so like if you're going camping people will go around i mean you had la hogan that just did a Fireworks. Yeah, they just last did weekend. their fireworks, which mm -hmm. was apparently really, really good. Everybody mm -hmm. had a great time. But yeah, I mean, people buy more food. Mm -hmm. And multi-weekends. Absolutely, mm -hmm. absolutely. And these numbers are all from the last couple of years. So these which are recent numbers. Mm -hmm. um, but it's $7 billion. I don't know. I bet those grocery store people are like, yeah. <laughs> exactly. They're like that little meme. Get that ah, boat ah, here, ah, quick. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> they have the little gun with the, yeah. uh, you know, with the bills going yeah. up. <laughs> 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 um, and so, let's see. Um, let's see. There was another one in here that was kind of interesting. Oh, apparently there's mystery text on the back of the Declaration of Independence, really? which we all saw in that movie. National Treasure? Yep, mm -hmm. yep. And um, it's written upside down across the bottom of the signed document, but no one knows what it says, <laughs> apparently, or who wrote it. <laughs> I bet you it's like a list. Exactly. Like someone's like, this looks like yeah. a good piece like of paper. paper. Exactly. Red, yeah, eggs. milk, eggs, <laughs> butter, <laughs> butter. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so there, there's all these really cool little facts. And um, in our area, in McCullamy Hill, they have their 4th of July parade. Mm -hmm. And it's, I think it's around their 160th annual 4th of That's July crazy. parade. That's crazy. Which is crazy. Mm -hmm. I mean, you think about it, little McCullamy Hill. Yeah. It's so cute now, you know, but it used to be just kind of an old gold rush town. Mm -hmm. But continuously, it's almost, I think it's almost 160 years now. Wow. Wow. So that's cool. That's so very cool. Yeah. That's really neat. Mm -hmm. When you think about it. I know. So, anyway, on to the 4th of July celebrations. Yeah. And, oh my gosh, there's so much. We have a lot. We have a lot. <laughs> so we're going to be talking about the week of the 1st through the 7th of July. Mm -hmm. um, and it's crazy busy. It is. It's <laughs> <laughs> it's super busy. 
So uh, to start off with uh, farmers markets are happening. We've yes. already been over mm -hmm. who um, does them. You have them in Jackson. You have them in Plymouth. I own. Uh, Murphy's, um, mm -hmm. you have it in um, Angel's Camp, Sonora. So just look at your local farmer's market if you are interested in buying local produce. Yes. Um, yeah. And you can always find a master gardener usually at one of these. So if you do have yeah. questions um, and they do wonderful classes, there's nothing happening right this second, but mm -hmm. they do have a lot of classes and things like that that you yeah. can sign up for. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, for sure. So um, this actually is not 4th of July related, but it is West Point Lumberjack Day re Whoa. related. And we'll get to the 4th of July. As you know, we kind of do like the scatter shot. <laughs> yep, we go whatever's we go popped, whatever's on, the popped on the screen. Um, so this is actually on um, July 3rd. So this is Sunday up there in West Point. It's a West Point Lumberjack Day fundraiser block party. Ooh, that's fun. And um, it is, it's live music, dancing, raffle, uh, free kids games and adults uh, dinners are $35 kids dinner is $12.50 it's uh, from 5 to 10 p.m. and it's just right down there in the middle of West Point is my understanding that see and I like those block parties because number one yeah. you don't have to cook exactly number two um, you got to mingle with all Oh, your friends, friends and friends. Yeah, and exactly. Kids get to run around. They and just get to, which is always fun. Yeah, they get all their stuff out before, mm -hmm. you know, all that energy out before you go back in. And yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and you don't have to cook at all. Not cook <laughs> or at clean all. up. Well, you and should probably help clean up. Yes, always exactly. offer the help clean up. Yeah, but absolutely. Um, but you do not have to cook unless mm -hmm. you want to. Mm -hmm. If you're out there cooking. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah, as you can tell, I don't do a lot of cooking in our house. My husband does. <laughs> <laughs> which is which is actually, it's a good thing. It is it's a good, good thing. thing. Yeah. yeah. There's a couple dishes I can do, but not extremely. <laughs> um, <clears throat> then we have our plays. So we mm -hmm. do have the Disney Little Mermaid is still going on at the Sierra Repertory Theater. And that's going to go into July 17th. So it is just a couple more weeks if you guys do want to check that out. It's a great family play. Mm -hmm. um, and it's the Little Mermaid. And you can just sing along to it and bring those little ones. And yeah. It's a great memory. Yeah. And people love it. Mm -hmm. And actually, there are actually, I do want to list this out. Um, Fourth Wall Entertainment at the Metropolitan Theater uh, in San Andreas. They have a whole list of amazing mm -hmm. plays that are coming up. Um, and because I have them in the list, I'm just <laughs> I'm just going to list them. Yeah. Um, but uh, July 1st and 2nd at 7 and July 3rd at 2, they're doing a production called That White Dress. Ooh, I wonder uh, who that's which about. is an evening with <laughs> Marilyn Monroe so, um, and her special guests. So that is a, a really cool um, evening to mm -hmm. actually uh, think about attending. That's that that's this weekend at the Met. Um, go to eventbrite.com to find out more information. And then they are going to be doing Sleeping Beauty. Ooh, there you go. There's another family-friendly mm -hmm. one to take your kids to. Yeah, July 8th through 7, uh, 17th. Fridays and Saturdays at 7 and Sundays at 2. And then they have a murder mystery dinner. Ooh. They're an interactive murder I mystery dinner. I love those. Dinner. Those are so much fun. <clears throat> mm -hmm. So this is actually July 30th, 5 p.m., uh, catastrophe on the blood red carpet. <laughs> <laughs> so make sure you um, look for that. Mm -hmm. And then there's there's a couple more, but I'll save, I'll save that for later. But I did want to let you know that they do have especially an evening with Marilyn. Sounds it's really interesting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's, ah, they do such a good job. They like do, you, they you, do. You know you're going to go and you're going to enjoy you're gonna have what fun. you're going to see. Yeah, yeah, for um, sure. Then there is also a tribute to Car uh, Carl King at the Sierra Repertoire Theater. Mm -hmm. um, that's July 2nd through, or June 2nd through July 7th. Hold on, I think I am, nope, I'm still on the right one. Yeah. So June 2nd to uh, July 17th. So again, you got about two weeks on this one. Mm -hmm. And it's at the Annex um, at East Sonora Theater. Um, so if you do want to check that out. Yep. And then, and then um, a, the Ebbets Pass Firefighters Association benefit, mm -hmm. their annual tri-tip dinner is Ooh, actually yummy. this weekend. So that's uh, July 2nd on the lawn behind the Bistro Espresso on Oak Circle up there in Arnold. And dinner, uh, music, and um, and the 
Music is by Burn Permit Band, oh, <laughs> which is kind of fits with the whole <laughs> yeah. firefighting thing. Um, so go check that out. I don't have the cost, unfortunately, for you, but you can uh, look up the Ebbets Pass Firefighters Association and find out more about that. It starts at six o'clock on Saturday. Well, that's fun. Which is cool. And yeah. try it if you can't go wrong. Yeah, absolutely. Go wrong. It's good. Um, the Outsider is playing um, in um, Jackson um, and for, through June 24th through July 23rd. It's a play. Mm -hmm. um, it's a comedy about politics, um, so it should be really, really good. Uh, it is, I'm trying to figure out which playhouse it's at. Um, and I'm only laughing. It's Main Street. Politics is just it's always right now. Yeah, it's in, <laughs> exactly. Might as well laugh. You might as well have a good time with it. Yeah. It's at Main Street Theater Works um, mm -hmm. in Jackson. Um, and it looks hysterical. Um, then we also have the Mousetrap, which is also oh, that started. Looks like it would be cool. It would be fun, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, and it is a murder mystery, um, and it's at the Volcano Theater Company, um, and that's going to be from June 24th through August 6th, so you have about a month left to check that one out. Um, so and that's yeah, a really little, cute little town to go and it visit, is. too. It's really you know, cute. You go a little, a little before the show starts and Walk just around. kind of wander around. They have the general store, they have the hotel there, yeah, and then the, the amphitheater is amazing. It is. It, it is. is. And they have the bakery, too. The bakery, too, yep. Mm -hmm. And it's a little bit up country, so it's a little bit cooler. Cooler. Mm -hmm. And it's all shaded. Yes. So once you sit down in there, it's all nice it's and shaded. It's really nice, for sure, for sure. And then, let's see what else we have. And then we have, um, actually, on the 2nd, there are two big festivals <laughs> in Calaveras County. The first one is the 50th Annual an Arnold uh, Sierra Nevada Arts and Crafts Festival. And they also, that's the same weekend as the parade, the annual okay. parade uh, by the Greater, Greater Arnold Business Association. Um, usually that starts at about 10, but make mm -hmm. sure you get your... 10 or 11 actually on uh, the main road there, but make sure you get your seats out way before ahead yes. of time because one year they actually had like 5,000 people oh, show wow. up. And that's, it's any play around here, or play, mm -hmm. any, any parade. parade around yeah. here, you want to get there at least an hour early yeah. to set up and then you can just explore the town. Mm -hmm. uh, but once you have your spot, you're safe. Yes. Um, and that goes for any of these towns because it is it it gets super, super crazy. Really crowded, mm -hmm. yeah. Especially, yeah. especially now. Oh yeah, <laughs> and everybody's getting out, going woohoo! We mm -hmm. can get out, we can mix and mingle. You still have to be a little careful because we got the, you know, the beastie beastie still out there. It is still, yes. Um, but uh, anyhow, you just got to be smart you about gotta it. Be smart about it. And then on um, July second, in Ironstone, actually has their big Independence Day celebration. Gates will open at two. Um, it's only cash only for admission and you pay at the gate. Uh, fireworks, food, fun, uh, wine and beer. They have bounce house, craft fun. vendors, rock wall. They have live music. Adults are $20, um, children six to 12 or 10, and children five and under are free. Uh, but there are no outside food and beverages anymore and no coolers. They used okay. to allow that, but they don't anymore. Fun little fact about how this particular um, celebration got started at Ironstone, mm -hmm. and and I did want to mention they actually have professional uh, fireworks people mm -hmm. come out. It's amazing. Years ago, and I don't remember quite the year, but it was many years ago. There used to be fireworks. I think it was just on the outside of Angels Camp, okay. and they were really big professional fireworks, mm -hmm. and they were beautiful and. What happened was they were canceled because of fire danger, and they were canceled okay. at very, very last minute. And the community was like, well, what are we going to do for oh, our Fourth no. of July celebration? Mm -hmm. And the Couts family stepped up, and they said, well, we'll have it at Ironstone. Oh, that's nice. And that was the very beginning of their... Fourth of July celebration, which, which works. is very cool. At that time, they only charged you by car, though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's a little pricier now, but you know, uh, inflation. I, but I imagine it's also grown a lot it's more. It's grown than one. a lot mm -hmm. more, and you know, then it was just everybody coming out with their picnic, and mm -hmm. uh, there was music, and uh, obviously the the fireworks. But now it's a lot more. You know, rock walls mm -hmm. and bounce houses and all Dinner, that sort all of that stuff. stuff. Yeah, it's a, lot, a little <laughs> different now, but. 
<laughs> yeah, and this is another one. Get there early because mm -hmm. it's only one road in and one yeah. road out. Very narrow road, and you want to be able to enjoy yourself. Exactly. So. Yeah, being stuck in that traffic yeah. is never fun. <laughs> exactly. Especially when exactly. you know there is an event happening. Yeah. yeah. Another big event that is happening is the Mother Load Fair, um, and it started on June 30th, so Thursday, mm -hmm. and it is going until July 3rd. Um, they're going to have a whole bunch of fun stuff. They have. Uh, music, entertainment, um, they have a carnival rides, they have sports, they have junior livestock auctions, so they have a lot going on, which mm -hmm. is always a lot of fun. You can go to a carnival or to the fair and then enjoy fireworks the yeah, next day. Which is, yeah, um, such a good time. And yeah, and that one is going to be at the Motherload Fairgrounds in Sonora. Mm -hmm. um, I'm trying to think of anything else. I, th I don't have ticket prices on here, but. Yeah, you just gotta go. You just gotta go check it out. Um, I don't think it's too expensive. Actually, no. I think we talked about the prices last week. I think we did too. <laughs> so go back and watch it when we last week. you can see it. <laughs> so, um, and then let's see, because there are a couple, a lot of, a lot of the parades and that type of thing are actually on the 4th of July this year. They are, yep, on the Monday. So that is uh, very interesting. Um, which is it's actually kind of fun too but um concert in the pines at twain heart mm -hmm. again that's uh every saturday night through september 10th or yeah every saturday through september 10th and you just go uh this this time it's triple d will be playing and it's produced by the twain heart area chamber of commerce and it's right there at the park in the middle of town after some park and you just go again make sure you get there with your yep. chairs early um the show starts at six and it's free so just you bring can't your be cooler. free you can bring your cooler <laughs> <laughs> and your dinner and just enjoy the the concert out there so we do have a couple canceled events yes. that we should probably bring up the yeah. fourth fourth of july um, they canceled um, public safety and St. Fireworks and Angels Camp. Yes. Um, so they uh, canceled that due to concerns for fire safety. Mm -hmm. uh, they also canceled the Copperopolis Fire Protection District Safe and Sane Fireworks display also due to fire safety yeah. concerns. Yeah. So just heads up, um, those two events have been canceled. Yes. Yeah. And let's see. And then we do have concert series mm -hmm. uh, going on July 2nd up at Bright's, Bryce Station Vineyards. Um, they will be actually featuring hot buttered rum uh, this Saturday. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, doors open at 530. Show starts at 7. Again, it's a bring your own um, chair and mm -hmm. your, your dinner. And uh, it costs $35 to get in. Um, but it is so beautiful up there. Oh yes, it is. It really is. And then uh, just actually just almost across the street yeah. <laughs> at Forest Meadows, they will be on July 2nd. They were ha they're having a free concert, mm -hmm. uh, Brian Jerka and the Star Dogs, uh, which they're kind of a pop you know kind of a fun band yeah um their shows are from 6 30 to 8 30 and uh bring a chair no outside food and drinks on that one um but that's right there i believe it's actually on the golf course mm -hmm. so no cover charge you can just go up there and enjoy it which is always a lot of fun like it's one of those things where well, it's, like yeah. we talked about before is that i mean we live in such a beautiful like area area yeah. that um <laughs> It's nice just to be able to go there. Every yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I missed exactly. the edge of the table. Yeah, you're like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> um, and actually, just uh, I'll I'll throw this in there too. <laughs> on on July second, up the hill mm -hmm. um, in Arnold, uh, the fabulous Off Brothers will be playing on July second for the Cameo Plaza Summer Concert oh, cool. Series. Uh, so you can so a lot of which variety. One you yep. want, yeah. Um, Which makes that, it nice because sometimes if you only have one event, it gets super, super crowded, super yeah, busy. If you have exactly. multiple events, it's, it's definitely it's diversifies nice. it. So that one starts at 6, free free Yay. entry again, bring lawn chair and snacks. And um, it just it always just feels like you're on vacation when it you really go to does. these things. It's mm -hmm. such, it's such an, a good feeling, mm -hmm. you know. So 
And you walk, um, I mean, yeah, and it, it travels on for the, the whole weekend, yeah, the whole does. week. And you're mm -hmm. like, oh, I can't wait for the next one. Yeah, yeah. On July 1st, the art exhibited um, May, uh, Long May She Wave um, in Yorba Winery in San Andreas begins. Mm -hmm. And it will go until July 4th um, from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Um, mm -hmm. It is... Um, it has a reception for the artists that will be held on July 4th from noon to 12, or noon, noon to 2. Mm -hmm. um, and guests will enjoy one com complimentary glass of wine during the reception. Oh, and all nice. the proceeds will go to the artist. So oh, you can, wow. Yeah, that's which is really nice. good. Yeah. yeah. Um, and they have a lot of um, artists that will be um, at this exhibit. So if you are curious about it, um, and it has an American flag as their, um, one of their artworks. So I think it's oh, a tribute cool. to 4th of July. So. Hmm. And then back over to Amador. I don't mm -hmm. think you mentioned this one, which was a summer wine dinner. I have Chef not mentioned Rob. that one yet. Yeah, so that's uh, July 1st at Bella Grace Vineyards. Mm -hmm. um, and four course dinner featured Ooh. by Chef Rob at uh, Sutter Creek Tasting Room. And then let's see here. Yeah. And it's each course is paired with a Bella Grace wine. Well, that's yummy. And uh, $75 per person if you remember their wine club it's uh, it's sixty five dollars a person so just gonna go on over to their website to check that out but it should it's any of those wine dinners where you get to actually meet the chef and meet mm -hmm. the winemaker it they're super interesting because you hear the history mm -hmm. and you hear the philosophy of the winemaker yep. about how they are they actually make their wine so it's, it's educational really too. fun yeah mm -hmm. so and i it's amazing how many chefs we have up here oh, um and how good, good every are. one of them are yes it's absolutely. amazing absolutely and uh, this Friday, July 1st, um, is family karaoke at the Gold Dust Pizza in Copperopolis. Um, karaoke is one of my favorites. Uh, so <laughs> if you want to bring one of your kids or bring your family and friends, um, it starts at 6. Um, and it is, they have handcrafted pizza. Um, there is no cover. It's for, um, for all ages. Um, so it's a family fun uh, event. And again, that's at Copperopolis at the Gold Dust Pizza. Mm -hmm. And for all your car people out there, um, on Saturday, July 2nd, from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. is the 28th Annual Cannonball Ooh. Run Car Show. Mm -hmm. And that is in Volcano. Again, Volcano, super, super cute it's little so town. Cute. And um, it's brought to you by the Volcano Community mm -hmm. Association. And 6.30 to 9 is when the cars, cars get there. Uh, 7 to 9 is a $10 breakfast. And um, 10 a.m. will be actually an Independence Day parade. So you, you know, get the July 4th stuff in mm -hmm. there. 12 p.m. will be raffle drawings and awards. And um, yeah, just down there on Main Street. And it should be really, really cool. Just um, heads up on this one is the town is very small, and the way is. that they put the cars is, is you are going to be detoured around yes, to find absolutely. parking. So absolutely. give extra time for driving and mm -hmm. parking because it does get really, really hectic in there, mm -hmm. and there's a lot of people. So just yes, yeah, just be in the mood of okay, we're not in a hurry. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It, it takes a little time because mm -hmm. it is. It's very compact. It's very, very compact. compact. And once they get there. those other cars in that, because I oh, think they yeah. block, block they do, off they Main block Street. They block off Main Street and, and then you have to drive in. around the back. Mm -hmm. so. And there's not a lot of parking, so they're mm -hmm. just kind of finding parking where wherever, they can. Wherever they can. And it, so. gets, it does get crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but fun fact, though, the Cannonball Run, many of you who are maybe a little older remember the movie Cannonball Run. Um, from the 1970s and what it is it is literally a cannonball run where cars start out in New York City and they come out to the West Coast and whoever oh, gets there the fastest so they are breaking the law all over the place <laughs> whoever gets here the fastest wins and these things still go on which makes yeah because they're it, illegal oh 100 percent. but you know you have to be like in the know right mm -hmm. and these things still go on and these people are are bringing like crazy cars mm -hmm. that they've modified oh yeah that that's not what's happening here no this is a classic <laughs> like, no, these know, are yeah, not these yeah, vehicles are getting like, over no, the speed no, limit exactly exactly <laughs> but it, it's kind of fun to know that this stuff still goes yeah. on it's yeah. Almost, yeah, yeah, yeah. So. I think they made they recently made a movie about this. Mm -hmm. um, it, it was a little bit more, um, like 
criminal oh, kind yeah, of thing, criminal, but they, yeah, they did yeah. mention this, so it was like, oh, mm -hmm. that would be a lot of car accidents. Yeah, it's yeah, funny, and they're, but. yeah, they're, some of them make it across in, like, literally 72 hours. Oh, man. Where did they go to the bathroom? <laughs> oh, oh, you don't want to know. You don't. <laughs> don't be behind Depends, her. depends. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. You don't want to know what they do oh, to win this thing. Um, but yeah, over. yeah. It's it's pretty. Yeah, it's still on. Oh man. <laughs> so, oh, that's good. Anyway, um, <laughs> on to another topic. <laughs> on July third, um, Amador does have their fireworks on July third instead of July fourth. Mm -hmm. So you can go up to the junior high um, and watch it up there. They have a lot of events happening. You you can also go to the Dietrich Park, um, the uh, IME Field. Um, mm -hmm. The Lions is putting on um, a firework display, mm -hmm. and if they'll have Snack Shack, it will be open from 1 a.m. to 7, or 1 a.m., 1 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. with mm -hmm. hot dogs, drinks, candy, and more. Again, this fills up quickly. People yeah. are usually getting there early in the morning to find spots, so yeah. just be prepared and plan. Plan. Um, how you're going to handle the situation. And that one has been going on for almost 40 years, too. Mm -hmm. You know, they were another one who were, they were like, where are we going to have our yep. celebration? And the Lions stepped up and they said, we'll, we'll, do, we'll it. do it, we'll do it. Mm -hmm. So they've been doing it for a really long time, too. And then... And let me get back to the calendar. <laughs> yeah, so I'm doing it. I'm like, get what another we got? calendar. Um, which means I have to get back into... July. And then, so we talked about the canceled ones. Yeah, because I didn't want to jump to Monday yet. Um, because we do, there is a um, 4th of July celebration in Columbia mm -hmm. on Monday. So since I'm already talking about it, I will hop on over to there. Um, so they are actually waiting until 4th of July to have their big celebration at Columbia State Park brought to you by the Columbia Chamber of Commerce and they have uh, parade games, uh, they have a flag raising and um, black powder musket salute Ooh. at the Columbia Militia at 11 a.m. and then they have concerts. Um, and they have like good old-fashioned kind of Americana games <laughs> like uh, the egg relay and egg toss, you know, greased pole contest, Aww. the cakewalk, you know, watermelon eating contest, those sorts of things. All the traditions. All the traditions. <laughs> and then um, they are having a barbecue at 1 p.m. So, so that's fun. Yeah, so that sounds like a good time. Then we also have the 4th of July party in Jamestown. Um, mm -hmm. It is, sorry, the event just kind of disappeared on me. We'll go here. Um, it is at the Roca Park in Jamestown, California from 11 to 9.30 p.m. Um, so you can go there and also go to that party. And sorry, it's the event isn't popping up, but um, for some reason it's glitching. Oh, there we go. They have four bands playing from 11 to 9.30. They have wood fire pizza, Kona, I, or Kona ice cream, and Scotty's hot dogs. So lots and lots to enjoy mm -hmm. um, at that event also. And then one of the, it's actually a, uh, a like a walking running event mm -hmm. on July 2nd. We'll just pop back there because I just, I just saw this. Um, the Firecracker Mile, which is put on by the Hazel Fisher Elementary Parents Club, it's back again, and it's a one-mile race through Arnold that'll kick off the annual 4th of July parade. So it's before the annual 4th of July parade on, um, on Saturday, and uh, they'll meet at, looks like, 9.50 at the bottom of the Arnold Byway, and you can register online for at ultrasignup.com, $5 for children in strollers, $10 for Calaveras kids, and $15 for everybody else. And then it looks like it is a benefit for the Parents Club. Ooh, that's so cool. that's very cool. And speaking of children, they do have the event of the messy, um, where did I, just lost it. It is the, sorry, I scrolled down and I lost what I was, where it was. I can hop on over to um, Murphy's. Perfect. Is having their July 4th celebration actually on Monday, July 4th from 4 to 10. This is act actually at the hotel. Uh, so they're going to have family-friendly fireworks uh, at the main hotel parking lot, 
and you can bring your own as well. So they're they're taking that on. Uh, barbecue food and cold drinks from 4 to 8 p.m. Live music by Star Dogs from 7 to 8.30. And then fireworks from 8.30 to 9.15. And then music from 9.15 to 10. And they, they say we have been approved by the local fire marshal. There we go. <laughs> Smart. <laughs> so that is very, very good. Mm -hmm. uh, so at the Murphy's Hotel, good old fashioned um, 4th of July celebration. And that's a really cool cool hotel too. It is. It, it is, is really, really yeah. cool. So I did find it. It is the Messy Mornings. We've talked about this before. It's a safe place to take your children, um, meet new friends for both the parents and the kids. Um, it's every Friday um, from 10.30 to 12 p.m. and it's put on by Amador um, First Five. It's an indoor-outdoor learning lab. Mm -hmm. um, they give the kids a shirt. They let them be messy. Um, and again, it's a safe spot. And it's nice for parents, I've found. Mm -hmm. To have these and like these events where your kids can make friends and then yeah. you can meet the parents and then eventually you have lifelong friendships happening. So mm -hmm. check that out. That's on Broadway and Jackson. Jackson, yeah. And so another Fourth of July uh, celebration. We already actually mentioned this one, which is the McCullamy Hill Fourth uh, of July parade, which I said was almost, I think, 160 That's years so old. Crazy. That's <laughs> now, so crazy. Um, which is, uh, yeah, it's just crazy, but. Um, they actually, they have their 4th of July parade, they have food, live music, and watermelon eating contest. Mm -hmm. And it starts off with the Veterans Memorial uh, breakfast beginning at 7.30. The parade starts at 11. And the breakfast uh, proceeds benefits the Veterans Memorial District there. Very nice. And they do a lot of great things for the community. Mm -hmm. um, they just put in a restroom at the park. Which is needed. Park, which was really which needed, needed. And it's great. <laughs> <laughs> so they do wonderful things like mm -hmm. that for the community. Um, and this is just a quintessential small town American uh, Fourth of July parade. So, and that is on Monday. Very cool. And I think I'm winding down until the next week, I think, on yeah. my scheduling. Yeah, I think I don't have. Um, Thursday, July 7th, or I just wanted to remind, we talked about this last week too, uh, the Miwok Lifeways Interpretive Programs up at Pinecrest Lake, where they, from 10 to 11.30, they actually, um, I think it's at the amphitheater, they talk about uh, the Miwok way of life. People mm -hmm. from the tribe come out and it's very educational and uh, it's free. So that would be a great thing to go to. And it's a great thing to take kids to. Mm -hmm. It's one of those things where you're yeah. looking for a fun outside event, uh, especially for your family. Mm -hmm. and take them to that. That would be fun. Absolutely. And then um, Calaveras County Library is still doing their summer reading program uh, from June 13th to June, July 22nd. Mm -hmm. Ages 0 to 18, free books and activities. You can Can't register online mm -hmm. um, or go to the nearest Calaveras County Library, Branch Library. And um, lots of cool things for kids to do. They give away free books, free activities. That is neat. Uh, yeah, and they can win prizes. So it's a really, really cool program. And I do know, at least with my kids, if you are not on them, summer goes by so fast. And yeah, they have a like whole gone. bunch of other activities that they can do. Yeah. That reading kind of falls down. So with the yeah. libraries having these events, it kind of puts it um, just mm -hmm. right in front of them, which is nice. Yeah. And absolutely. Especially for the parent, too, because I'm like, you get forgetful, but you when do, you have you something do. where you're like, oh, okay, this is, you can put we're doing it, it once a week, you get to read your book. Exactly. And yeah, it gives you those deadlines. Yeah, it's very, very cool. So speaking of something that's going to happen a little bit in the future, uh, July 16th, they have a sip, or paint and sip afternoon um, for the Amador Senior um, Center. It's a fundraiser, mm -hmm. um, and it's Heart and Soul Studios putting it on. And it's, uh, the reason why I'm mentioning it now is, if you do want to do this event, um, if you want to sign up early, because I imagine it can sell out. Mm -hmm. um, they have multiple different arts um, that you can look at. They, they have this really cute, I can't show you the picture, but it's called the River Life. Um, oh, cute. And, or, and they, or a lake life, so yeah. you can put your name in, mm -hmm. in the river. Um, and then they have a sunflower truck. Um, so you can create either one of those at this event, but the mm -hmm. proceeds go to help the Amador Senior Center. Oh, cool. So, yeah. And that's on July 16th at 1 p.m. Yeah. Up here, what's what's really cool is there's a lot of events that um, that benefit local charities and nonprofits. 
they yeah. know just, they just help them do their work and you can go and have fun and enjoy yourself and help a good cause as well. Mm -hmm. So. And it's nice because, I mean, we are a small community, but yeah. at the same time, we're a tight community. Yeah. And mm -hmm. it's one of those things where you go and you know the people, and yeah. it's yeah. just refreshing to get out and about. And, and, and then especially people, with those you know, art yeah. art ones, where you <laughs> exactly. come home with something, and yeah. you get to hang it up and, yeah. and display it, mm -hmm. which is always fun. Mm -hmm. Or if you're like me, you don't hang it up. <laughs> 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 or the art teacher goes, well, you put your best effort into it, Sarah. <laughs> nice words, nice words. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> nice effort, nice effort. Can I have some more wine, please? <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah. Well, so I think I am out of events, at least I, until next week. Yeah, I don't want to get too much in, mm -hmm. in too far ahead of ourselves, but I think we've given you more than enough, oh, right? For sure. Um, to get out there and enjoy the weekend. It's going to be warm. So you know, you protect your your fur babies sun, in the uh, heat, sunscreen, sunscreen, mm -hmm. uh, water. wash their feet mm -hmm. uh, when they're walking on hot um, surfaces. Mm -hmm. You know, keep them cool, and then also July Fourth, make sure you keep them inside and keep yep. them, you know, keep them safe. Um, we still have a lot of people in our area who shoot off guns mm -hmm. <laughs> for Fourth of July. Do. So be yeah, be stay inside if you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Especially later on, that's mm -hmm. when that stuff starts going on, and you can hear it. So. You can. Um, yeah, just be safe because it is high high fire danger. It is fire. Mm -hmm. And um, be but prepared. be prepared, but enjoy yourself. Exactly. Yeah. So have Did a good time, and we'll see you again next week. I know. And. July. July. <laughs> I, I still can't believe we're in July. Already. I can't either. It's, so it's crazy. crazy. All it's right, crazy. so we'll see you next week. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Bye.